the American family road trip. You've checked your tires, the oil, and filled the tank. But how will you fill the time without getting on each other's nerves? Good morning, honey. Oh, you're up. The boys and I packed the car a couple of hours ago. Oh, I always say, vacation is a time for relaxation, don't you think? We haven't even left the driveway yet. As you see with the early birds, they mean no harm. They're just so excited to start the day. But Dad, his expectation was he was going to relax and chill. This whole scenario would have gone very differently if Mom and Dad had had a conversation before they left on their vacation. What are your expectations? OK, let's hit the road. Hey, champ, you ready to go see Roswell? You bet, Dad. Love, you promised to stay off your phone during the trip. Oh, Bill, I have three deals to close this week, and I need to stay online. But, honey, I could really use your help as a navigator. Oh, Bill, don't be silly. In this scenario, Dad really wants some help from Mom navigating, but Mom thought, you know, we got a long trip ahead of us. This would be a great time for me to close those three business deals that I've been working on for the past four years. So it would be really great if Mom and Dad have this discussion and call it a device-free vacation or have certain time limits or curfews when phones can be on and off. Then there's the backseat driver. Did you just miss our turn? What, what about that sign up ahead? Great, now we're even more behind schedule. One more mistake and we're going to switch. The backseat driver is the number one thing I see couples arguing about. So the pilot really needs to tell the co-pilot what he or she needs and what he or she will find useful and it's really important that the co-pilot tries to be reassuring to the driver and not nagging or undermining or critical. While you're on a road trip, be aware that you might run into some horseplay. Mom, Billy hit me! Did not! If you guys hit each other one more time, I'm gonna have to release the Kraken. If you're taking a road trip and you've got three boys in the back seat, you should expect they're gonna be problems. You might have to pull over and Mom's gonna switch seats with someone. Positive reinforcement works better than threatening. So now you know how to get along on the road with your family. Have fun at Roswell!